Now we are going to start with the poultry farming. So obviously in poultry farming we rear poultry birds. So rearing birds like hen, duck for eggs and meat is called as poultry farming. So we have two kinds of sheds here. Uh, we have free range farming and we have battery cage farming. In free range farming what we do actually we just uh, we have a, a certain area which is closed by a fence so or you can say a, uh, uh, you can say a net like thing so there in daytime the birds are left free so that they can roam around but in night time they are just closed in a cage. So this is what is a free range farming. In a battery cage farming we have a area or you can say we have a box, uh, we have a certain kind of uh, confined area made up of metal mesh where the chickens are kept, they are supplied with food, there is, they are supplied with the water and everything what they need and they don't get, have an area where they can actually roam about. So this is what is a free range and battery cage. And if we talk about the food, so there here we have chicken and boilers so we need to supply them with the required uh, balanced diet uh, for their proper growth. Now there are certain kind of disease which we see in a poultry farming. It is uh, mostly it is a viral kind of disease like raniquet and foul pox. In raniquet the uh, uh, birds suffer from suffocation and loss of appetite. In foul pox there is lesions on the body and also a discharge from nose. These are the common symptoms and in aspergillosis which is a fungal infection patches appear on a skin. So we need to take care of, so if you are providing a proper food, proper water and proper uh, shelter, we can actually get rid of this uh, disease. So this is what is a poultry farming. Now starting with an apiculture. So what is an apiculture? Apiculture means rearing honey bees to obtain honey and bee wax. Rearing honey bees and we, what we get from honey bee, we get uh, bee wax and we get uh, uh, this thing honey. So usually what bees do, they collect nectar from flowers, they uh, make honeycomb and there they store honey. They collect nectar and they store in a honeycomb and uh, then uh, sorry they make honeycomb where the honey is actually stored. But in apiculture what is there, there are certain boxes which are made up of wood with frames and these boxes form an apiary, forms an apiary actually. So in, the, in this the bees actually connect nectar and all and they, they are just making a honeycomb like this and then uh, when, when the, uh, the one of which they, uh, the person which actually is concerned with the uh, collection of the honey and the bee wax from the uh, apiculture what they do, they actually use a method of smoker. What they do, they have a certain uh, you can say a box where they lit fire to twigs and dry leaves. So when they just uh, move the smoker towards the uh, honeycomb or you can say the apiary, the honey, this drives away the honeybees. So they can actually protect the, because they need to protect themselves also from honeybee. So honeybees just uh, fly off and uh, moreover when, you, when the person, uh, when they are extracting honey, they need to wear special clothes, they need to uh, cover their face with a helmet because there might be a chance that the honeybee may bite them. So they need to take care of that and then they can, they just, to leave the honeycomb and move and there they can collect honey and bee wax. So this is what is an apiculture how it is done. Now moving on to the pisciculture, it means breeding fish on large scale, it means breeding fish on large scale. So uh, pisciculture is best done in a pond, so in pond uh, we supply uh, fishes with the food which is supplemented with all requirements what they need actually uh, and uh, then uh, the, the fishes are reared on large scale. And uh, you know that we have a freshwater fishes also, we have marine water also, freshwater are katla, rohu, singhara. Marine are hilsa, tuna and salmon. You need to know actually this because see you will be studying this, this uh, pisciculture, apiculture much more details in higher class but at your level you should know only uh, uh, you should be well versed with these names and a small thing that what is actually why what is actually what, what branch it is dealing with and what actually you can do it to and also the disease which can occur in an organism. So this is what is a PC culture. So I think you got it that what is poultry farming, what is apiculture, what is PC culture. Now we are starting with the sericulture where we will be rearing silk worms and you know that uh, from silk worms we get silk. So this is what is a poultry farming and you should know about the uh, uh, the disease and the this thing the symptoms as well and apiculture and PC culture the definitions and also how it is done you should have a basic idea. So this is what is a poultry farming, apiculture and PC culture now we will be starting with the sericulture.